Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another review of 39. This episode was a lot more interesting than the last one. Yeah, it tends to drag a bit. This drama does that a lot. But it was a lot more interesting because the mystery guy, Jui, bringing up a little thing, which I mentioned at the beginning of the drama. Mijo is having the courage to see her mom again. And Jin Sook's ex-wife and son are moving. The first thing I want to talk about is the break-in. Yes, the girls. Broke the window, got the cake, they paid for the broken window, and also they paid for the windows that weren't broken. So their little fiasco was on the news online, and instead of people hating on them, there were people praising them. They were literally praising them and their friendship. I love that one of the comments uh, someone left was, they wish that the second girl was their girlfriend. And then Mijo instantly said, yeah, that's me. And then Juhi said the same thing, and then it was kind of funny when she said that she was the third girl in a very cute way. It was so adorable. So, there was a mystery guy that visited Mijo at her clinic. To be honest, to be very honest, I thought it was her dad. But the more I thought about it, I was like, wait, there's no way that could be her dad. He looks like he could be the same age as her. So, yeah, he's not her dad. He's a creditor. He came to see Mijo. Asking for money because her mom owes people money. Her mom did commit fraud. Well, frauds. That's why she's in jail. And towards the ending of the episode, Mijo got the courage to go back to prison and meet her mom again. And whatever mess that was created because of the relationship between Mijo and her mom, she is willing to clean up all of those mess. And this is the moment that I've been waiting for. I was waiting for Mijo to meet her mom and talk to her. In the last episode, it wasn't much of it. It was just mostly the mom doing the talking and then Mijo running away. This time, hopefully, there's no running away. There's no making up excuses face to face with her mom. Now, I'm glad that Joey brought this up because I mentioned it at the beginning of the drama in my episode one and episode two first impression of 39. Joey is almost like a third wheel. And she brought it up when she met up with Mijo. And Mijo did say it's not like that, but it it felt like that. Have you ever noticed that whenever bad news comes to Mijo and Chanyong, they always get the bad news, suffer a bit, and then tell Jui. Jui is the last person to know anything, which is messed up because those three girls are best friends. And yeah, she brought it up. Again, Mijo said that it wasn't like that. but. You know, there wasn't really any answers, I should say. I mean, there was some comforting, you know, when when they met with uh, Jui at her house. But uh, yeah, there wasn't really any real answer to that, which I kind of find very odd. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode. If there's anything I might have missed, please leave in the comments below. Leave in the comments below what your thoughts on the stuff that I talked about. The mystery guy, Jui being a third wheel. I briefly talked about Jin Sook's ex-wife and son going to England. There's really nothing much I can say about that. But I had a feeling something was going to happen. I mean, Jin Sook had an affair. He was married. He had a kid. Something was bound to happen. I just didn't know they were going to move away. And also the mystery guy. I hope. I just hope that he doesn't just show up one time and then he, he's just ignored. I kind of want to see him go to jail, you know. Because he's kind of forcing Mijo to pay him for what her mom did. And yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.